Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can put image inside text and also I'll show you how to change the background, how to apply a glow, remove some problems that you might occur and other things. Let's start with the creating a new image and I have this width and size and I want to double it that's why I'll type star 2 and I'll click on the height and I'll type star 2 and this will double the height. Click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is um, fill with the foreground color which is black. Let's go to edit. Next thing select the text tool, click and type GIMP. I'll double click there to mark the text and I'll change the color to white and also going to change the size to let's say 800 pixels and I'm also making it bold of course you can use any font that you want I'll use this one for the tutorial the next thing I'm going to do is if I want to align this to be in the middle I'll grab the align tool click on the background shift click on the text and then use both these options to align it now I'll go to layer layer to image size now select alpha to selection in this layer and then with the delete key I'm going to delete make the background layer active add an alpha channel and again hit the delete key then control shift A to deselect now the next thing I'll do is open as a layer an image, this one, click open and I will need to scale this down because it's a very big image, you see it's 5000 pi pixels width, click on the chain to keep the aspect ratio and scale it down and this will take a little bit of time because like I said it's a very big image. Now next thing I'll move this layer down behind the background, I'll grab the move tool, move the active layer and I'm going to position this around here, then layer to image size and you see we managed to put image inside the text. Now we can also put more than one image so I'm going to open another one as a layer this bird here and the image again is too big so I'm going to scale it down grab the move tool and move the layer where I want. It will be better if I scale it down just enough to fit in both these letters but I'm not going to undo that and redo. I'd rather show you how to uh, blend those two images together if you want to. Something I showed in a previous tutorial. Let's try this again. Add a layer mask, click add, then go to the blend tool, use this gradient and just click and drag and you see how we can blend the image also layer to image size you can use more than two images you can use as many images as you want to but I'm going to remove this bird because I prefer to leave only the grass in the sky here and now the next thing I want to show you is how we can uh, create a glow here Let's select alpha to selection but to the background here and control I to invert the selection and now I'm going to go to select border type 10 pixels click OK and here I'll need to 
create another layer transparency click OK and then I'll select another foreground cover let's say this light blue cover select it click OK and this will assign it to the foreground cover and now I can use control comma to fill with the foreground cover or you can go to edit and select the option from there the next thing I'm going to do is make sure this layer is active go to filters blur Gaussian blur and here I'm going to enter for blur radius 60 pixels click OK and you see that some of the blur effect is also over the image I want to remove that so again I'll select the background alpha to selection control I to invert the selection and then I'll make the layer where the glow is active this one and again hit the delete key control shift A to deselect and you see we have a glow only outside of the text also another thing here we have too much color so I'm going to select the eraser tool reduce the opacity to 20 adjust the size of the brush and just click here carefully to remove some of the color now I'm going to delete this top layer I don't need it anymore and uh, you see the text without and with glow now let's uh, do something else let's drop a shadow here select the background lights and shadow drop shadow I'll use the defaults and you see the effect here I'm also going to crop this because it created a shadow outside the background so with the crop tool I'm going to crop this click enter and you see the effect you can also add the glow if you want to now let's see how we can change the background you can use any image that you want for a background uh, you can use a digital photograph or something you have created here I'll just create another layer and I'll use the blend tool and I fill with one of the gradients to create a new image and you see the new background that we have created now I'm going to need to again I'm just checking all the layers here I'll need to select the background again black background and here again alpha to selection control I to invert the selection or go to select invert and then mark this new background and hit the delete key then control shift A to deselect and then I'm going to turn on the other effects here you see with shadow the glow here the color of the glow doesn't fit very well with this orange background like I said you can use any kind of digital photograph or graphic that you have created so that's it for this tutorial i hope that it was helpful and if it was subscribe like the video that's it for now bye